hey everyone come in come in come in come in come in hey lisa triplet hey nikki news how are you ladies doing today it's a rainy day here we're gonna talk about some things today y'all we're gonna talk about some things come on y'all hey miss linda 2021 gonna talk about some things a lot has been going on a lot has been going on but we're going to talk about some stuff today and i'm going to also give a huge shout out to a lot of you subscribers hey linda gamble come on y'all come in please like the video when y'all come in thank y'all so much y'all will push me through the algorithm thank y'all so much hey lady c Come on, y'all. Come on. I see 12 in the building. 12 is watching so far. Come on, everybody. We're gonna talk some, we're gonna talk some serious stuff here today, y'all. We're gonna talk some serious stuff. If y'all haven't heard my new hit single, Zen Garden, listen to it after this live. <laughs> come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on. Come on in the room. Yes, yes, yes. Give me one more minute and I'm going to start. And as the people start coming in, they can catch up. Hey, Rhonda, how are you? <clears throat> come on, come on. It's 12.52. I'm going to start at 12.53 Eastern Standard Time. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Thank you, Nikki and Linda. <laughs> I was so silly. I was so silly. Okay, y'all. Okay, y'all. It is I. It is I. Black women are in the building. I love everyone here. How are y'all doing? I just want to let y'all know that everything said is alleged and in my opinion and for entertainment and fair use purposes only. <clears throat> okay. So first, I want to say thank you to Miss the Miss, I'm saying Mr. To Dr. Shanita Foster. I got to give her a huge thank you. Hey, Rhonda, thank you so much. And I'm saying thank you to Shanita because she said what needed to be said. However, I'm going to also give a huge thanks, thank you to some content creators, including myself and most of you subscribers who are over here, who are on some of my other faves channels, I'm giving y'all a huge shout out too, and a huge thank you. You know why? Because Dr. Shanita did not say anything that we have not heard or have not said before. She just labeled it different. Don't show up to the circus. However, Many of you in the chat right now, I have seen you all, including myself, and sometimes I backtrack, but I have seen you all say, stop reporting on them. Don't talk about them. Stop running to Wanda's channel. Stop reporting what Stormy and Tisha and them are saying. I heard y'all say it time and time again, months ago. So that's why I'm also giving you, the subscribers, a huge round of applause. Because this is not something that we have not already said dis or discussed. This has been said. It's been said. I can go back to some of my videos where I'm saying, I'm not talking about them no more. I don't give them no shine. I could go through some of my favorite content creators. I can go through some of their videos and pull up where y'all are saying, don't talk about them. You get what I'm saying? Hey, Diamond Diva Honeybee. Lady C, yes. She was dropping some gems. Yes, she was. Don't forget the fools. That's right. However, Lady C, this is the same thing that a lot of the subscribers would be saying 
on the panels and inside of the chats. It would just be packaged differently. It would just be packaged differently. Dr. Shanita said, don't show up to the circuits. The subscribers and some of the content creators, including myself, said, stop talking about them. Same shit, different toilet. But I'm glad that Dr. Shanita came out and said it because sometimes people with a bigger audience or a bigger following can get the point across. However, I'm not going to act like this was not what a lot of you subscribers have been saying from the gate. Y'all have been saying that from the gate. Don't give them no shine. Don't go to Wanda channel. We don't want to hear Wanda. Don't go over there. We don't want to hear them. We don't want to hear this one. Now, when Black Titanic and when my Pinky the Housewife and when my boo um, trending, when they come with their documents from the courts and everything, that's something totally different. That's something totally different. Exactly, Diamond Diva Honeybee. Stay mute and continue to be cute. What Trenton and them do, that's totally different. However, again, I have to give you subscribers a round of applause because y'all been saying what Dr. Shanita came out and said on her live. And she dropped so many gems and I loved it. I loved it. And quiet as it's kept. From what I, I don't know, she didn't come out and basically say it. But it seems to me that she was saying something that I said before, too. Now, at one point, I used to be on the fence. I want Mel to leave this ish. Then I'm like, no, I want her to stay because this is her show. And she did the legwork and she paid for the consultations. And she did years of her research and everything to get this show popping. But then I go back and I say, is it worth it? But not only is it worth it. It's not the show that Mel brought forth. It's not her dream. This is not what Mel wanted us to see. Mel did want us to see black excellence. This is far from black excellence. This is cat fights. This is jealousy. This is hatred. This is assault. This is not what Mel wanted. Carl no took her dream and turned it into what he wanted it to be, a mess. So that's why I look and I say, is this really Mel's baby? Is this really Mel's show still? Yeah, we know she bought it to Carl no, and we know she did all the footwork. Mel did everything. Everything even pitched people to be on this show. However, this is not what she wanted. But that's what I say too. If Mel leaves, let it be on her terms. Let it be on her terms. And you're right. This is the Raindrip show. Because this is not what Mel wanted. Hey, Alf MC. This is not what Mel wanted at all. At all. And that is so sad. However, what we do see in Mel and what she did want and how Mel operates is on Shawnita's world. That's what Mel is about. Exactly. Then the gamble and being sabotage. That's what Mel is about. Mel is about families and love and and, you know, entrepreneurship and pulling up your sister and helping out and wanting to see everyone win. Rhonda F., that's it. This isn't the show that she created. This is not the show that she created at all. However, again, like, was it Diamond Diva? She said, when or if Mel leaves, let it be on her terms. And I understand that. But for real, it's kind of like when I was listening to 
Dr. Shanita. It's like she was saying, it's time to get up from this sloppy table. It's time to get up from this sloppy ass table of clowns. You've outgrown this circus. You've outgrown these clowns. You've outgrown these clowns. And I'm going to tell y'all, it's only going to get worse and worse. Look what they look what they doing now. Look what they doing now. Look what they doing now. And don't get me wrong. We all like a little bit of mess. But this goes beyond mess. This is straight hatred. This is straight hatred. And like Linda Gamble said, envy and sabotage. There's nothing good on this show. Nothing besides Melody Sheree and when Mama Van pull up. And like I said, from the beginning when everybody was saying, oh no, that's her friend, that's her friend. Oh, that's her friend. Oh no, Fletcher is her friend. I said before and I said again, I always had my eye on her and I never trusted her. Because let me tell y'all something. And I don't know how everybody else loyalty works, but this is how my loyalty goes. Let's say me and Diamond Diva Honeybee, that I call Diamond Diva Honeybee my girl. Diamond Diva Honeybee is my baby. I do anything for her. That's my home girl. That's like my sister. She's like my blood. She is like my blood. Hey, Dolores Cameron. Right, Nikki News. So let's say Diamond Diva Honeybee. We know each other. You know, we met in college. This is my girl. We do everything together. Diamond Diva Honeybee is, has a good heart. Diamond Diva Honeybee is on her ish. You need something, she got you. You want something, if she ain't got it, she gonna go get it. She all about win, 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 no matter what. Win it. I want my, she want her whole team to win, right? And then all this stuff is happening with Diamond Diva. All this stuff is happening. Everybody who she's putting on to win, they giving her their ass to kiss. They turning on her. They doing devious ish to her. And I'm no, and I'm knowing this because Diamond Diva is letting me know, but I'm also seeing it. But she's letting me know because we like that. We sisters, I love her to death. And then Diamond Diva own husband is in the mix of all this. And he's doing all this nasty, devious, treacherous stuff to Diamond Diva. Things that I'm seeing, but things that I'm not seeing as well, right? So it's Diamond Diva's husband and all these flunkies, right? And they doing all this stuff to Diamond Diva. But me, Diamond Diva's sister, her A1 day one, the one who I who who claims they love her, me, I claim I love her. I'm befriending all these MFers at work and after work. What do that say about me? Ain't no way in the world I can love or want to be around anyone that tries to hurt someone I love. Those two don't go together. It ain't about, oh, this ain't high school. Oh, people could befriend who they want to befriend. If you want some ish like that, then you can't be in my mother effing circle. Because now I got to look at you. Now I got to look at you. Because if you think it's okay to befriend and hang around and be all up the ass of somebody who tried to deliberately hurt me, then you ain't the person who I thought you was. And I need you to come from around me. I need you to come from around me. Like Mel said, black or white ain't no gray areas. You can't keep straddling the fence. You can't straddle the fence with the, oh, I know both of them. Or Mel said to get to know them for yourself. 
I'd have to been like, Mel, listen, I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to be funny or nothing. I, I'll rock with them on the show, but Mel, I don't want to get to know them like that. You come first. And from what I've seen and from what I know on how they did you, the person that I love, I can't rock with nobody like that. What do that say about me and my character? Why do I even want to be around someone like that? Why do I, why would I want to be around someone that tried to hurt directly and indirectly someone that I love, that I claim to love? Exactly, Alf MC. I can be cordial. Exactly. I can be cordial. However, I'm going to be cordial on scene. But when that just say clear, and we done filming for the day or whatever. I can't rock with you like that. I'm not going to your businesses. I'm not going to be seen line dancing with you. I'm not going to be smiling all up in your face. No, because my loyalty to the person I love would not allow me to be in that space. I can't do it. I can't do it. You mean to tell me you love Mel, but you want to be the main attraction with these itches and negras that is trying to take her down and has done all these salacious, nasty things to her, said these salacious and nasty things about her, her mother and her children. Huh? Exactly, Alf MC. I never have. Never. Never. Mary Brown, and that may be it. That may be it. That may be it. And I guess she trusts Nell because she's known them for so long. But also, that doesn't mean nothing. Actions speak louder than words. Your actions show me who you are. Your actions show me exactly how you feel about me. And me, me, from what I'm seeing on the outside looking in, Nell's actions is showing me exactly who she is and how she feels about me. Exactly, exactly, Diamond Diva Honeybee. If I'm cordial, it's from down the block, not in your face or in your circle. Hey, Rose Armstead. Hey, Terry Gray. Exactly. And I just can't, I can't phantom it. And like I said, I don't know how everybody else's loyalty is set up. I don't know how everybody else, you know, whatever. This ain't about high school and you could befriend who you want to befriend. This is about who the fuck are you? Who are you really with? Who you really with? Like, come on. Come on. It doesn't take a rocket scientist. It doesn't take a rocket scientist. Your actions speak louder than any words that are coming out of your mouth. Any. But I'm going to get off those clowns. Like I said before, hey, I said it now what? Like I said before, I want to give a shout out to all the subscribers who have been saying from the beginning what Dr. Shanita said on her live. Y'all been saying it. Y'all been saying it. Y'all just said it in another way. So I thank y'all. You right. Um, I said it now. What a duck by any other name is just the same. When your friend shows you who they are, you better believe them. Exactly. Exactly. Dolores Cameron. Huh? Yeah. Yep, Mary, Br I mean, Alf MC, you dag on right. You dag on right. Yep, yep, exactly, exactly, exactly. Alf MC, I know she did. The, the way Shanita roll, I can tell she spoke to Mel already and let her know, listen, <laughs> listen, ain't none of them yo, ain't, ain't none of them your peoples. Cause ain't no way. A person that loved you is trying so hard to be in a circle of the ops. Ain't no way. 
Ain't no way. You know what, Diamond Diva, honey, be Go in the corner. Like Tanner said, you getting in the corner. Anyway, we getting on Mel. So Mel got her blueberry and her orange um, facial scrubs and the lip scrubs dropping. I'm telling y'all, if y'all have never tried Mel's products, trust me, I, I live by them. I live by them now. And I already have very beautiful skin. I'm not trying to just, you know, just talk about my stuff, but People always tell me your skin is so pretty. Your skin is so pretty. And at one time, all I would use on my skin is just honey and water. <laughs> now, if y'all never had just used honey on your skin, like wet your skin and just use regular honey and put it on your skin and let it sit for five to 10 minutes and then rinse it off and do that every day, along with drinking your water and stuff like that. Hey, Scorpion Miss, how are you, sis? That helps a lot. So now I incorporate male scrubs and her facial toner with just plain honey. And baby, when I tell you this skin is skinning, when I tell you this skin is skinning, she sure wasn't Elisa. So y'all, we have to be on the lookout for the blueberry and the orange. They definitely drop. And y'all, the workout gear, okay? The workout gear is coming. So I think that drops as well this week. Listen, Mel is in her bag. Mel is in her bag and I love it. Alpha MC, I'm getting both the blueberry and the orange. Do you hear me? Mel is in her bag, y'all. This is her winning season. That girl got God on her side. She got faith. She got favor. And that is something that a lot of people do not have. That's why we see the others are scrambling. The others are scrambling. Yes, she is Diamond Diva Honeybee. And they can't take it. See, and the, only, and the thing is, all Mel wanted y'all to do, y'all loyalty. Because she was already putting y'all up. She was putting y'all on. She was giving y'all the blueprint. But y'all loyalty wavered because y'all wasn't true from the gate. From the gate, y'all came in with an arterial motive. And that motive backfired over and over and over and over and over again. And y'all still don't seem to get it. Y'all still don't seem to get it. Insanity. Doing the same thing and expecting different results. But y'all, we got to be on the lookout for male stuff. So I think it, do it drop today? Or no, I think it dropped, what is it, Friday or Saturday? Because I know she got the Easter egg hunt. And she also has the um, mimosas with Melody. And I'm so mad I can't make that because like I said, I had so much stuff going on this month, but I'm keeping my ear to the streets for when Melacon happens because I want to meet a lot of y'all. Yes, Dolores, me too. Me too. Be Diamond Diva Honeybee, I just ordered two more um, oils. They came in, baby. When I tell you I get out that shower, honey, and put that bed. First of all, not only do it smell good, a little bit goes a long way. A little bit goes a long way. So I just ordered two. I think I'm going to order two more. Exactly. Yep, that's it. Dr. Shanita. Yep, Scorpion Miss. Shanita is Mel's friend, the doctor. Sharnita is from Sharnita's World. Yep. Yep, you are right, Scorpion Miss. Baby, Nikki News, I don't know about the hair serum because I have my own, but that dang on oil whew, and the smell. Oh, my goodness. So, y'all, get ready for that. Get ready for that. We we, we got to we gotta sell our girl out. We got to sell it. Well, I can't even sit here and say we got to sell our girl out because we do all the time. That's what we do. And another thing, y'all. Like, I can't stand it when everybody think it's the Melameters doing this, doing that. Everybody ain't a Melameter. And even those claiming to be a Melameters ain't Melameters, y'all. Just listen to what I say. A lot of those claiming to be Melameters or not even claiming to be Melameters, but just, oh, now they so in love with male. Uh-huh. I keep my eye out on them. Yeah. Because I don't forget, yeah, when you was on some other ish about Mel and her followers. And now here you go. Now you done jumped the ship and you over here because you see how the Melameters roll. Uh-huh. I'm watching them. I'm watching a lot of these content creators. Um, Elisa Triplett, um, yes, I do. Um, I'm a hairstylist. 
So, and I've been, this term that I have, I've been, I had it for like about eight, nine years. So I usually sell it only to my clients. They, they, they live by it, but I'm getting ready to uh, start selling it. I'm going to uh, put my website up. I got all that stuff in the works. So that'll be like the summer of this year, the summer of 24. But when it comes out, I'm going to let y'all know. I'm going to let y'all know um, my hair page and everything. I'm not letting y'all know yet. I'm not letting y'all know what it is yet. Because y'all see I'm behind the black screen. But when all that stuff come to fruition, I'm going to let y'all know. So just look out for it. I, I said it now what exactly. You know what I'm talking about as far as them. Everybody, oh, now everybody on the mail train. Huh, I remember when you wasn't on the mail train. But y'all started how mail people do. Yeah. I am Elisa. Yeah, I heard that serum does work though, um, Diamond Diva Honeybee. Yep. Huh. Huh. Scorpion Miss. It's that part. That part. That part. So that's why I just, ah, man, what they say? Keep your friends close, keep your enemies closer. So maybe that's what Mel is doing. But one thing we can say about Mel, she's no dummy. She's nobody dummy. And that's what they hate about her. She's nobody's dummy. She's no, and when she's through, she is through. She is through. So yeah, Nubian TV, baby. When I tell you, I don't know what's going on with that daggone damn Nubian TV. I said, everybody must be up here. Cause every time I'm trying to watch a show to come back and tell my melanin squad about the damn show, I can't get on the show. I said, Nubian, y'all get mail. Come on, tell Nubian, get it together, baby, because it's too many good ass shows up here that I want to see. So I'm coming back tomorrow because we're going to talk about the show Melanin. And it's another show up there called, um, I think, Black in America, something like that. I love stuff like that. So we are going to talk about that. But I, I'm like, well, what the hell? My internet is the highest speed you can get. And I can't get up there. I said everybody and their mama is on Nubian trying to watch me damn shells. Well, that's a good thing. And look at how, look how God moves. Look how God moves. We got Sharnita's World on Nubian TV. And now another network, a black woman owned network has picked up Sharnita's World as well. Double goddamn trouble. That's what I'm talking about. Double goddamn trouble. <laughs> Diamond Diva Honeybee. <laughs> Hello. But when I tell you, man, it's only up from here. I can't wait, y'all, till when Mel does the docuseries on the property preservation and when Mel does her, um, the content creator thing. And with the concert, hey, G-Quad 68. Um, also with the content creator show that she's going to have on Nubian, I think she's just starting it at 10, but I think it's going to be a continuation. I think it's going to keep going. And I think she's going to be on other content creators. I, man, I hope so because I didn't apply for it because like I said, I'm a small channel and I'm not ready for that yet. I got a lot of stuff going on. However, I think after those ones, I think Mel going to do another series, another set, then another set. And that is going to be so dope. Yes, Elisa, um, triplet more than likely I'll have it, uh, ready for Melicon. And what I'm going to do with that, what I'm going to do with that, um, Elisa, when I come for Melicon, I'm going to have like little samples for all my peoples. For, I'm going to try to bring as many samples as I can that I can give away instead of selling. You know what I'm saying? I like to do stuff like that. But yeah, I be having trouble too. I just keep trying to send Nubi on. You better stop. Yeah, I better stop. Y'all got me sitting here squinting my eyes trying to get on this goddamn channel. I said everybody and their mama, grandmama, sisters, cousins, little babies is up here. That's what's going on. But that's a good thing. <laughs> um, Rod, I think it's, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's next month. I think it's next month, Rod. But I don't know. I'm going to keep watching uh, Trending and Black Titanic because I know they know. They act like it's a bad word. And it's not. It is not a bad word. It's just women supporting other women. And I love it. Long as y'all not trying to 
do something bad the mail i'm in it to win it thank you alisa you know what i'm saying hey may may hey are you serious um alf mc okay okay i'm gonna definitely do that you know alf mc i'm still um learning a lot of this stuff i'm still learning so but once i get up there baby baby this channel gonna be popping as well do you hear me now y'all let's talk about damn baby so whoo this is a lot and as a harlem girl this is crazy and it's sad at the same time because this is a black person going down however however I feel as if you did it, you need to be charged for whatever you did, allegedly, in my opinion. If the things that are being said about you, you did, then I got to, yeah, you you need to go down. Hey, Diamond Diva, Honey Bee, I haven't um put them up for sale yet, but I, I'll definitely let y'all know. Um, Dolores Cameron, exactly, exactly. But y'all, with Diddy, this is crazy. So now they're talking about young Miami and 50 cent baby mother who also was messing with Diddy. So with those things, I got to say this. Hey, Toot Latrice, I'm not one to run and put out every and anything I see that come across my page, come across my face. That's not me. You know what I'm saying? That's not me. Because one thing I've learned in the black community, and it's crazy, and it's all communities too, but I'm talking about the black community because I am a black woman. Black people will take stuff and run with it. Black people will take stuff and run with it. So we also, Cassie then already came out and let us know all this stuff, right? And, and that's what I'm talking about. But before I finish with Diddy, Linda Gamble, yes, Melody has made it to Black Wall Street Magazine. Mel is the bomb. Mel is that, Mel is that chick. Businesswoman. Mel is that chick. But yes, Diamond Diva Honeybee, if he's guilty, he needs to answer for what he's did. You damn right. You damn right. Yep, don't do it. Just lawsuit clickbait by all of them. My thing is this, okay, we already know with Cassie what came out, or undisclosed amount was given to her, whatever, whatever. But I knew that a whole thing was going to be made out of that, right? So then we seen them raid in Diddy's house. We see the sons coming out in handcuffs, whatever, whatever. I don't think the daughters were there. Um, I didn't see the daughters at all. But my thing is this. One thing come out, two things come out. Next thing you know, it's a whole hoopla. Oh, the, the, the feds came to Diddy House and they jumped out the helicopters and it was three women hitting under the bed and they had the videotapes of the people doing this and the people doing that and Carisha was underneath the pool with the girl and they was the SCX trafficking and they was on the plane and they, they had the girl's mouth shut. You see where I'm going with this? Do y'all see where I'm going with this? That's why everything that comes across my screen, I don't say nothing about it until I get all of the facts. And even then I say allegedly in my opinion, but until I get all of the facts, because I knew that this Diddy debacle was going to turn into a circus. And it was going to turn into a circus because people were going to take bits of this, pieces of that, chunks of this, guaps of that, put it all together, stir it in a pot, and now we got a whole brand new story. Oh, he he's over there with Russell Simmons and they shot his plane out the sky and... Everything is not newsworthy. Everything is not newsworthy. We don't have to report on everything. I seen a lot of stuff that was concerning what's going on with him. Some of the stuff I'm not going to even say, I'm not going to get into the Carisha or the or, or 50 Cent Baby Mama thing because I do not know if that is true. I, me, 
I was never at none of those free calls or whatever you want to call them. Never at none of them. Now, did, did he have regular parties and stuff? I was at City College when it happened. I was at another party of his. It wasn't no freak off party. Like they said, he may have had two separate types of parties. He may have these types of parties for these people. And he may have these types of parties for these people. You, you feel me? However, I'm not going to say Parisha this or 50 baby mother that because I don't know. Me, anybody can go up there and put something up there and say, oh, and this happened and it won't even be true. Like the guy that came out and said, yeah, he showed me the tape of him and Stevie J doing this and doing that. And everybody ran with that. Oh, they got, he got Stevie J on tape doing this and they doing that. And Stevie J getting this and getting that. And it wasn't even Stevie J. But you see how fast that line circulated in the black community? You see it? Oh, Alpha MC, I'm going to get on that. You see how fast it circulated? So before Stevie J can even get out and be like, what the F are y'all talking about? It was already out there that it was him on tape doing all these scandalous and horrendous things. And it wasn't even him. So as content creators, we have to be more aware and more conscious of what we put out. Instead of trying to be the first one to break some news, make sure the news is worthy and make sure it's real news. Make sure it's real news. You know what I'm saying? Now, Alf MC, you are a baby. Let me tell you something. All them people that you named, the Slim Thug, the Joe, the Joe Budden, the Charlemagne, the Tyrese, I can't stand none of them. Never liked any of them. Don't like them. Never did. Never did. They was a bunch of MFers. They never take up for black women. They always arguing, trying to bring a black woman down always got some effed up ish to say and is going to stand behind a no good negro regardless to whatever right i remember i told a friend i said i don't rock with chris brown you know nothing against people that like chris brown i said but i don't rock with him i don't listen to his music i don't buy his stuff oh why you don't like her i said because i'm a darky i'm a darky he don't like darkies I said, you think what them ladies are saying is false? It's not false. He don't like doggies. And if I was to go to LA and he was in the club, more than likely I wouldn't be able to get in. So why would I be celebrating his music or taking up for him or anything? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I don't celebrate or put the money in the pockets of nobody that don't celebrate or appreciate me. And it is what it is. But you're going to have a lot of male celebrities that's going to go all out and, oh, he didn't do it. We seen what happened with the, um, we seen what happened with Cassie when she came out. They was trying to throw her under the bus. And Alf MC, she did. She talked too much and too loud. However, however, I can't sit here and say Oh, that she is one of them. And I don't even like the girl. I don't, I, I never liked her. But I can't sit here and say, oh, I'm not, uh, because you do have some people that can just sit there and just put that out there just to put it out there, just to be attached to it, just to put it out there because she was attached to Diddy. You see what I'm saying? You have people that would just put ish out there just to put it out there. You know, like you now you got 50 telling, um, what's the name? His baby mother. Oh, I didn't know you was one of his sex workers. I didn't know you was this. I didn't know you was that. But you putting that out there, you don't even know that. Why would you do that? And that's the mother of your child. One day your kids is going to see that. But 50 is the same person that in the beginning was taken up for Tory Lanez. 
the one that pow pow Megan in the foot. So see, we got to Dolores Cameron and that's it. That is it. That is it. You are absolutely correct. We are too easy to deceive. That's why I, I, I sat back. I'm sitting back and I'm just waiting for a lot of stuff to come out. But I'm not going to jump on everything I see concerning this. Now, is Diddy? Uh, yeah, I believe all that ish that Cassie said. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I believe a lot of the stuff that's coming out do. Because a lot of the stuff was already told about you. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But all the other stuff like that, I'm, I'm not... I'm, I'm not going to go into all of that right now until I have solid proof that Carisha was a sex worker. Till I have solid proof that she was, what you said, trafficking people. I'm not going to put that out in the atmosphere. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that because I don't know if that is true. And I do know that anybody can say anything. I can come up. I can right now go to New York and be like, yeah, because I remember back in such and such, such and such, I seen such and such and such and such. And they uh was doing this and doing that with him, whatever, whatever. And it could be a whole lie. But I could just put it out there and they'll put it out there in the atmosphere and then everybody will run with it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody will run with it. But with this Diddy case, a lot of them is going to fall. And the Joe Buttons and all of them, that's why I don't be all them podcasts and stuff they be having. I don't be on that ish. I don't even know why black women go on that ish. They don't like you. They don't like us. Half of them only tolerate us because they know black women will spend a coin. Black women are the only group of women that will go up for any and everybody. Even in this content creator world. We will elevate these male content creators to the highest elevation of anything. Only for a lot of them to turn around and don't even really like your ass. But they know that money coming in and you're going to get them where you where they need to be. A lot of black women to do it before they even support another black woman. They'll do it before they support another black woman. Am I lying? Hold on, y'all. Yeah, they'll do it before they support another black woman. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. And guess what? Alf MC, that's going to get all that stuff. Her big mouth is going to get her in some trouble. Do you hear me? Her mouth and those words that she spoke, even if she has never SES trafficking anybody, all the words is going to come back and eat her alive. It's going to eat her alive. And that's it, Scorpion Miss. Stop supporting your oppression. Stop it. How many, how, how many, how many times have you seen black women going up for these males? Raising these males to elevation. And then what happened? And the girls turn around and tell you, oh, I don't like dark skin women. Oh, I don't, I don't date black women. Oh, I don't, I, I don't this, I don't that. Because they know black women are the first to support. And again, black women are support another man before they support another sister. And, and I'm sorry. And I'm sorry. Yeah. They'll support another man before they support a sister. I've seen it happen. I've seen I've seen it happen with my own eyes. I've seen it happen. I've seen black women question the F 
out of another black woman and what her motives was and what she was not going to do. And oh, this is, I'm not doing all that. And turn right around and don't question the man. Don't say nothing. Well, open her pocketbook and there you have it. And then cry a river because that Negro don't even like you. <laughs> he don't even like you. He don't like you. He don't like your kind. But he knows, he knows that you will go all out for another man. Even back to the CB situation. I wish him well. I wish him well. He's very talented. Very talented. I will not take that from CB. But I won't support anything he does. I'm a darkie. So you don't get any of my money. You don't get any of my spins. I don't play you on my Spotify, my Pandora, none of that. You don't like me. So why would I? Why? Why? And people look, well, you really, well, that, that, and I say, huh? And anytime something comes out of him, who are the first people running to his rescue? Black women. And, and really the darker ones. That's why that show Melanin on Nubion, y'all, mm, 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 mm. when I tell y'all, we don't like to talk about colorism because it leaves a nasty taste in your mouth. But it is alive and kicking. And it is real. And it is, I don't think it's ever going to go anywhere. It's never going to go anywhere. Ever. And it's, it makes me think about who, who, who ever watched when Rick Ross, who ever watched Rick Ross had a show and he was looking for a singer to do a hook on a song or whatever, right? And it was him, the game. I think it was, was it, was two, it was, it was a few of the heavy hitters in the game, right? And they were listening to how the girls was singing the hook. So you had the girl, just Britney, pretty, pretty girl, lighter shade, pretty. I love her cheeks. She's so cute to me. And um, they were listening to her. So now just Britney sound like a cat. That was getting strangled. That's how she sounded, right? But she had her little sh cut off shirt and her little skirt, whatever, whatever, you know, and they bop into it. And I said, what the F is they bop into? She sound like a cat in pain. I said, what, are they, what, what, what the hell are they bop into? Right? So then I look. And I said, oh, hell no. I said, and Rick Ross, your future bright. Your future bright, shorty. Your future bright. And I said, wait a minute. Rick Ross, the rapper, or Scorpion Man. <laughs> so I said, wait a minute. Why are you talking about her future bright? And they like, yeah, yeah. The game bouncing his head like, yeah. So then you had the dark skin girl come up. Real chocolate. Cute girl, too. She had the big uh, crochets in her hair. And I forgot the song. But when I tell you that dark skin girl, she got up there, y'all. I'm going to put it on my community wall. I'm going to find it and put it on my community wall so y'all can see it. And when I tell you she went in... When I tell you that that girl sang the hell out that, I mean, yo, voice was angelic. She put her own spin on it and they told her, nah, nah, uh -uh, she ain't sound right. This and that. And they was looking at her, Toot Latrice, yes. And they was looking at her like, what the hell she did? And it was all about colorism. And I'm going to tell you who blew the hook off the handle. I'm going to tell you who blew it off. The girl, just Britney. She said, I knew it was, it was due to colorism. She said, she knew that girl sounded better than her. She said, but she, I knew she wasn't going to get it because 
of the colorism in the industry. I knew she wasn't going to get it. And that right there is crazy. But I'm telling y'all also that also, yes, she did Diamond Diva Honeybee, but that also plays a lot in with this thing with Puffy too. Y'all, Puffy don't really like no dark skinned women. He don't really like no darker skinned women. Kim, he only liked Kim because Kim stayed around. He don't give no, I don't care what nobody say. He wasn't really into Carisha. Carisha was too dark for him. Did he like the, did he like the, the Cassies and the J-Lo's? He liked that, them type of women. Carisha and Kim was just something to be around. I'm telling y'all, that is it. And that is all. Yes, it is, May May. Yep. Look at Normandy, Scorpio Miss. And the sad thing is, you know, with the thing with Normandy, when she did the song with CB, and I think he only did that with her because people was on his ass about the color of shit he was doing. So then what happens is, oh, they say, oh, let me go get a dark skin girl and do this with them. Like Kelly Rowland made me so goddamn mad and I love Kelly to death. But when that ish was coming out about Chris and mama was talking about his colorist ass and all that, she, we love you, Chris. I said, Kelly, read the motherfucking room. Read the room. Right, Scorpio Miss, yep. I'm like, Kelly, read the room. Oh my gosh, it's always one. But then you turn around and know what goes on because of colorism, because you're a darker skin. Even though you're beautiful and you're in the industry, you face those problems as well. So come on. It's not in people's heads. It's not something that's made up. It's something that's really going on. It's something that, and may, may, exactly, exactly. I believe there is a higher elite. I believe there is a higher power out there that is really on some other ish. Scorpion Miss, yes, she made me so mad with that. And I love her to death. But learn to read the room. Learn to shut up sometimes. Because that wasn't the time for that. Because if you wasn't who you was, you would be just another donkey like us. You get what I'm saying? So stop it. But I'm telling y'all, that thing with Diddy, everything is going to come out in the wash, y'all. Alpha MC, exactly. Everything is going to come out in the wash. And Diddy going to have a, a price to pay. But I'm telling y'all, I'm just going to go a step further. It's some people higher than him. That is in this ish as well. And I don't think he can talk about it. I don't think he could talk. I don't think he could say nothing right now. But we shall see. But well, we shall see. But if there are any more victims out there. I'm just sending my prayers to them. Because no one should have to go through that. Man or woman. No one. And if Diddy did all that stuff that they're claiming he did. If Carisha was in on that. If. 50 baby mama was in on that. Then y'all got to pay the piper. Y'all got to. Y'all got to. Y'all got to pay the piper. You can't get away with no ish like that. Who the hell you think you are? But all good things must come to an end. I don't know why people do not understand that. All good things come to an end. Anybody lying, they're going to be found out too. If anybody is lying, just to jump on a bandwagon because there are going to be some bandwagoners like that guy that said that that was Stevie J in that video and it wasn't. There are going to be some bandwagoners. Y'all sit on the, by the wayside, but those who are telling the truth and know what's going on, yeah. Oh, most definitely Scorpion Miss. Yeah, May May, a lot of them have sold their souls. A lot of them. Yep, Scorpion Miss. Like I said, it's a higher, it's a higher entity because he's gonna talk. He's gonna talk, and it may be another. You know what, Epstein's. You know what I'm saying now, 
as um yes the lord's camera now skinny boy 20 boy i don't know about all that like i said they're just pulling that man into it now allegedly in my opinion they just pulling jay in there it's all these speculations all these theories and nothing has been founded to be true as of yet so i'm not putting that man in that because all that man is doing is minding his business and raising his children so I don't, I, I'm, I'm not going to say anything about Jay. I'm not going to say nothing about Jay. And I'm not a, I'm not a beehive person, none of that, but I'm not going to say anything about him. I'm not going to get into that and say, oh, Jay is it. And Jay is that I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Cause all that man is doing is minding his business. He's not even getting in that ish, but yes, he knows too much diamond diva and scorpion miss. That's exactly what it is. It's spiritual warfare is spiritual warfare and it's coming down to the nitty gritty and everybody that is involved baby and we gonna see more people y'all we are going to see more people you see allegedly they say cuba good how true it is i do not know i do not know but Everything done in the dark is going to come out in the light. It's going to come out. Yep. Yep. They are, they all going to fall one by one. When you are doing wrong, you will reap what you sow. That is it. That is it. There is no way to escape it. There's no way to escape it. There you go. Scorpion miss. Yep. Yep. Why was that on the tip of my tongue? You read my mind. That was it. Yes, they will. Yes, they will. They're not going to let him talk. Because it's bigger than him. It's bigger than him. Skinny boy, 20 boy. See, that's another thing. The Epstein's flight log. Nobody had that flight log. But the higher entities, the government. We didn't have the flight log. People was putting out their own log. That was Quanon. Q-A-N-O-N, that was them that put out that stuff. That's why I say you got to be real careful in what you see or what you hear. That wasn't even a real flight list. They just put that out and put a lot of celebrities and people's names on it. Yep, Dolores Cameron, the devil is on the loose. Yep. Yeah, that's what they say, Scorpion Miss. I'm not going to, I don't know. It to be true yet but yeah that's what they were saying that's what they were saying yep scorpion miss yep 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 it's it's just y'all what mel said the year of revelation she said that in 2023 that thing done spilled over into 2024 the year of revelations that spilled over into 2024 and every and anybody can get it. Hey, Sunshine Rays. I'm happy to have you here, hon. But before I go off, I'm going to say this. Melameters. Again, everybody is not a melameter. And you do have people that just on, they just jumping on a bandwagon now because they see that males movement is strong. They see that males movement. Hey, welcome skinny boy, 20 boy. Welcome. Glad to have you here. They see that males movement is strong and it's only growing. But the thing about it is you have some that's going to infiltrate the melameters camp and act like they're melameters and they're going to do things because they know that the melameters are always blamed for everything. Right. But then you have your true diehard melameters which is me and Diamond Diva and, 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 and Scorpion Mitz and Taisha J and, and uh, you know, all my, my content creators here for hot tea and, you know, true, you know, true tea and, you know, y'all know who, y'all know everybody I'm talking about. Tea talk with your girl, trending, you know, and yeah, we just got to be ready for it. We just got to be ready for it. You know what I'm saying? We just have to be ready for it because they're coming. 
they're coming. They are trying to infiltrate her camp. They are trying to stop any and every type of support that Mel has. And like she said, we just got to stand on business. We just got to stand on business. Simple as that. Because see, they liked it better when Mel didn't have a following. But when women who are really about women, because I can tell her following is women who are really about women. And that's what I love about it. Women who are about women, women who are looking out for women with no ifs, ands, or buts about it. When they seen that her following was on it. See, they're mad because they issues being put to the forefront. You don't want your wrongdoings out there. Stop doing wrong shit. You don't want your wrongdoings out there. Stop doing wrong, foul shit. That's how you end that. It ain't about, oh, Mel could do no wrong. Oh, y'all think Mel is a god. Hey, Veronica Monroe. Oh, Mel is this and Mel is that. No, we never said Mel was perfect. I know I never said she was perfect. I never said Mel was a god. I never said she was my god. I never said Mel could do no wrong. What I did say, though, was the things that she did wrong and the accountability that she needs to take. Can y'all please tell me what for? Can y'all tell me what she needs to take accountability for? Tell me the wrong ish that she did. They never can. Do y'all notice they never can? They never can tell us what accountability Mel needs to be held accountable for? They could never tell us what she did wrong. They never could. Then they get mad. Mofos can come for Mel 555 times. When Mel responds on the 555th time, then everybody is up in arms. Oh, they both, they both. How was it they both? Mel let this motherfucker talk and say shit to her 555 times. Now that she spoke on the 555th time, now it's both of them and she need to stop? How sway? How sway? Like, y'all really is that jealous of this lady? There you go, Toot Latrice. Y'all really jealous of her like that? Like, really? Come on. Either you with it or you not. But don't sit there and lie on this lady. Don't make things up to make her look bad because then you are just no different from them ops. Like, I see people going to bat. Yeah, because Stormy product, this and that. And then, and then, and then. I said, it's white labels. She's not the first one to have that product. She copied from somebody else, allegedly, in my opinion, but the product is white label. She doesn't have a chemist. She has a vendor different from Melody Cherie. Melody Cherie has a whole chemist out in these streets. Then when people say, yeah, Mel making that stuff in her basement, eh, 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 stop being so dumb. She's making nothing in her basement. Mel's chemist makes it in her lab in Texas then ships the product to Melody. Melody then packages the product in her house and ships it to us. That's different. Mel is, in, is not in her basement stirring up product. Dummies. She ships it from her home, which is very, very smart because she has the room. Less overhead. Less overhead. Scorpion Miss, terrible, terrible, terrible. All we want to see is black excellence. Call no refuses to show it. So now, guess what? I'm going to do what I've been saying all along. And like a lot of you subscribers been saying all along, I'm not going to be reporting on them. I'm not, no. I'm going to be reporting on everything Mel is doing. We're going to be over here talking about some of the things that's going on on Nubion TV. We're just going to be over here rocking and vibing. When I get enough subscribers, I'm going to have 
uh, a channel where we could go behind the wall and behind the wall is where I'll give out all my prizes and have my contests and where we'll do our cooking and our, you know, our fun and everything. But no, no. You know what I'm saying? These people is crazy. And we're going to keep supporting Mel. I'm going to ride with Mel until the wheels fall off. We're going to keep supporting her. And there's nothing that they can do about that. And you better believe the Melameters are going to be the topic this damn season. However, I hope that Mel gets in their ass and let them know. Like she said, she told them on the reunion and they took, they cut it. And I knew Carl no was going to cut that. But she told them the Melameters was formed because of y'all. They got tired of y'all bullying me. Now, let's see when they talk about the Melameters this season, if they're going to cut out all her shit. Because we know how they do. They don't want to show nothing positive about her. They don't want to show her businesses. They don't want to show the most positive mother on the show, which is Miss Van. They don't want to do none of that. And that's crazy. That's because Carl No is about chaos and strife. And he wants to get paid off of Melody's pain. And she cut him off and said no more. She literally cut him off while she's still on the show and said no more. And now he's scrambling. So now we got the dust mite back. Like they said, we got dust mite back. So now we got a whole legion of people that don't like her against this one person. Make that shit make sense. But they'll never, they, it's like they aren't learning. Insanity. Doing the same shit and expecting different results. What y'all think gonna happen now? What y'all think gonna happen now? What do y'all think exactly, May May? He don't want positive, he wants the drama. And he don't even know you could catch more flies with honey than you can with vinegar. People are dropping out from watching the show because it is too toxic. Look what's going on with that. What's it? Love and marriage, uh, DC. Them girls ain't coming back. Like you ain't gonna have nothing. What is bold and bougie doing? Nothing. Nothing. Exactly, Veronica Monroe. Mel is very smart. And the thing is, had y'all not been envious haters and would have listened to her blueprint, y'all would have been where she's at. Yep, Diamond Diva. Yep. Yep. Melody walked with God, guiding her steps. Like she said, God is my source. Uh-uh, Scorpion. It's not dust mites and ant bodies, girl. It's, it's, it's terrible. It's terrible. But I'm telling y'all, we got to get ready for this roller coaster. It is going to be a roller coaster. And again, I'm listening and I'm doing, like I said, I will not be entertaining these clowns. I will not be entertaining them. I will not be talking. No, 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 no. Y'all will not get no shine over here. Y'all want to be taking content creators to court and doing all this and doing all that and stabbing Mel in the back. And do, Yeah, mm -mm. keep that over there. Keep that over there. We don't want it over here. We don't want it over here. Like Mel said, stand on business. Stand on business. That is it. And that is all. So I love y'all. I love y'all on this rainy Thursday. I'm going to catch me some Z's before I get ready for work this evening. I thank y'all so much for coming over here. If y'all have not hit the like button, please hit it for me. Y'all will push me in the algorithm. I will be back tomorrow with some more news that y'all can use. And I'll talk to y'all later. I love y'all, my melanin squad. Bye-bye.